Okay, well, I'm getting ready to uh, work some more on the um, Jewel Thief with the big toroid here. And I'm going to be changing out that 555 timer chip to one that uses less power and maybe uh, get some power savings. But before I did that, I wanted to see how much light I could get out of that toroid coil. So I went backwards today, and I went back to my inverted Jewel Thief circuit with the capacitors and the uh, 20 ohm uh, uh, 10 watt resistors right here. This is the one that I did before I ran the toyo toroid. Uh, it's a bar of ferrite that I wrapped the coils on and it produced really good light. So I went back to it and I decided to try the toroid and also put the 555 timer on that circuit to see what it would do. And it, it came out really, really neat. Um, I may end up making a boxed version of this. I've been running this little tiny light here um, for several days on the Jewel Thief circuit that was running with the 555 timer. And it's great, it, but it doesn't put out much light. So I went today, I put the big toroid on the big tube. And this is the inverted uh, Jewel Thief circuit with the little capacitors and then I attach the uh, 555 timer to it. Now I've got a big power supply here that I'm using to um, control the voltage and the amperage going into the system. And uh, there's my friend right here. He watches everything I do. He's real curious. He's going to help me show the meters here. That's his job today. But anyway, that's going to be the voltage and this over here is going to be the amperage. And I'm going to turn this on and I'll show you what I used to hate when I was working inside under these fluorescents. You get in there and you work and you don't feel well. They're, they're flickering and it looks like that. And you're going, oh man, if I could just fix that. I hate that flickering. Nothing worse than a flickering, flickering fluorescent. So anyway, what I have here is I have a way to do it. You just do this and you turn up your timer circuit and then... Uh, the flickering goes away and then you can control the brightness over here and make it get real bright. And there goes the light. And I really like that. That's the big light right there. And that's at 8 volts. That's uh, 8 volts and that's at uh, 3 quarters of an amp. And I'll turn the lights off here. You'll be able to see this. That's nice. That's a good, decent light for three quarters of an amp on that circuit. And that's using this big toroid right here. And I really like that big toroid. Um, I'm just using one uh, 2 and 3 055. That's that one right down there. And uh, then this uh, 555 timer circuit right there. And then, uh, like I say, I've got this running at, at just 8 volts and about three quarters of an amp but I've got tremendous light out of that now that's the big light that I really want I you know I, you know night lights are great but when you want light you want light and this will get the job done now because of the timer here this is running much 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 cooler I can probably get away without using these ballast resistors in fact because this is not running all the time this is being pulsed and um, because it's being pulsed, the uh, actual joules of energy flowing through this, I'm pretty darn sure, are less than when it's on full, full blast. Now, this is a square wave form. It goes like this and down and this and down. And when it's on up here at the top, it's actually oscillating very, very fast. So the bulb here is actually oscillating very, very fast when the circuit is turned on. Of course, this is turning on the circuit, on and off, on and off. Now, if I dial this down here, I'll make it blink again. You can see it blink. Now, that's just like a strobe light there. And uh, I'm just uh, feeding the juice to the circuit right there in the spurts. And then when I dial this up more, it goes into full-blown uh, oscillation, um, higher than your eye can tell, which is what I was looking for. Anyway, this was quite a successful thing I did today, and I, I wanted to take a look and see if I could make the big toroid work on that circuit. But I tell you guys, I think I really 
like doing it this way with the little capacitors here in this inverted jewel thief circuit I get much more performance out of it and uh, even though it's a little bit more on the amperage um, I do like it now you can come off the collector here and charge quite nicely on this there's no problem with that at all it's just you're not going to be running LEDs with this you're going to be running a full-blown fluorescent light and I like that so anyway that's the latest for today everybody's been really interested in this one he's been a great helper today thank you <laughs>